Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, i like to welcome everybody to the Red Room Podcast. I'm your boy Jack So, and you already know, free nuke until nuke is free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This video is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts Ice Coffee. Not really, but Dunkin', you need to fuck with me. Look, I'm consistent. Fiona Taylor's family has just been awarded $12 million. But is this justice? Let's talk about it. So, Louisville just settles with Breonna Taylor for the wrongful death lawsuit for $12 million. Now, to me this seems funny. This seems like they're just trying to cover up the bigger picture. We want these officers prosecuted. Like, the money is mandatory. Like, money is mandatory that's supposed to be done automatically. You kill, you wrongfully shot somebody. You murdered somebody. So that's automatic. Besides that, put in just, oh, she got $12 million, like trying to calm down the in-your-face actions taken by the protesters. That's wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Tamika Mallory, shout out to Tamika Mallory. She's been out there on the front line. She's never left. Kentucky since she's been out there she's putting a lot of pain down in the street and the people are starting to see it she's not going away Tamika Mallory has formed um what is the name of it Breonna Khan and that's another organization getting people in the street getting them active and it's all for a positive cause for Breonna Taylor now Tamika Mallory's been out there her name has not been on the forefront as it should be, but cool. That lady is out there pushing the, pushing the justice reform. She's pushing the fact that these officers should be held accountable. Yo, shout out to Mika Mallory for just really making, I believe, this even a settlement happen. Without Tamika's presence physically being in Louisville, Kentucky, this thing would have been swept under the rug. So we have to give the kudos to Tamika and her team for keeping the awareness going about Breonna Taylor. Now, does $12 million equal to justice? However, it does not. We need those officers prosecuted. We still want to see the legal system do their part. You know what I'm saying? All of this is happening just from people boots on the ground being in their face, knocking on doors, giving out flyers. That's what Tamika is out there doing. And I've made videos on Tamika prior to this one. She is actively Breonna, okay? So shout out to Mika Mallory. I don't know if anybody's ever going to give you your roses, but I see what you're doing out there. You're doing a great job, and I appreciate what you're doing. Continue to do that, right? So $12 million, cool. Cool. Breonna's not here no more. She's not even here to enjoy it. The money is like a pacifier to the pain, the sorrow, the loss. You know what I mean? There's so much that goes with losing a loved one to a dramatic situation like this and to just shove money in the family's face. First, before the officers owning up to what they did, you got to be shitting me. Man, listen, it's still justice for Breonna Taylor until... It's backwards, you heard? Money is not justice. We need them officers held responsible for their actions, you heard? Regular. Look, if you want the real news, you know where to get it. This the Red Room, y'all.